<laughs> Thank you. Uh, thanks for a nice introduction, Ralph. I'm uh, briefly saying I'm a life scientist and a musician. Today, I would like to talk about life and death from both a scientific view and a musical context. It is important to have music together with discussion on life science because according to Friedrich Nietzsche, life would be a mistake if we didn't have music. Nietzsche was not only a philosopher, but also a pianist and composer. When he was young, before coming to Basel to become a professor of classical literature. In his literature, he also insists that music and art are necessary supplements for science. Now we start from basic question. What is life or what is death? Death is a consequence of every life. It occurs when a life stops being a life. During our lives, we experience stress, diseases, or injuries, which may lead to death. That is also true for any cell inside our bodies. When we have a disease, some cells in our bodies may also feel stress and may die. Now, what is life? For one cell, here is one scientific definition of a life. From bacteria to a cell in more complicated animals, such as human, it is so simple there are only two criteria. First, sorry. First, if a cell can make a self copy by cell division, the cell is alive. Second, if a cell can metabolize nutrients, the cell is alive. So now here, as I showed before, I want to express this definition of a life via music. Self-copy and metabolism can be the features of fugue from Baroque period music. Because fugue starts from a main melody, which will be repeated by other voices from bass to soprano like a self-copy and self-division. This copy and repetition is converted towards the end of the piece, like a metabolism. Here is one example from Johann Sebastian Bach. The first melody here will be followed by the other two voices. Now you see self-division, self-copies. Let's listen to the metabolism. So this was the definition of a life. Then what is the definition of a death? It should be an opposite to the life. When a cell is dead, the self-copy cannot be made anymore. So we don't see proliferation of bacteria. And in a dead cell, the function of metabolism also ceases forever. When both criteria are satisfied, the cell is considered as dead. Now, what kind of music can describe this status, the definition of death? That is silence, like right now. I think this is the most difficult piece for all the musicians in the world to play silence, as long as four minutes and 33 seconds. It is composed by Jean Cage, 
without any music note. But now let's try to play this together with you. Uh, maybe not as long as four and a half minutes. Let's say 30 seconds to be silent. Start. Okay, now, I think it was difficult for some people not to move, <laughs> because uh, we are alive. We cannot stop breathing, and we may hear our own heart process as a sound. But don't try to die just because to try to uh, play this perfectly. So now, after a silence for 30 seconds, like a boring ceremony, let's have a fun to wake up. Now, for one moment, just think about an artificial life, AIs and robots. They can behave as if they were alive. And for AIs, it is super easy to make self-copies by clicking the files, Ctrl C, Ctrl V, copy and paste, that's all. However, unfortunately, there is no metabolism at all in AI or robot system. Instead, in our imagination, we can create an artificial life from non-living materials such as nutcrackers. In the fourth story of Nutcracker, of Tchaikovsky's ballet music, is within a dream or an imagination where all the non-living materials, things like this, can start moving. Now we have learned basic definitions of life and death. From here, let's look at more different aspects on life and death. One key sentence here is that death is neutral and irreversible. It is easy to start from music because there is one chord, one harmony which can describe death in this way. This chord is tri uh, triton. Triton has been a symbol of devils or death because of its uncomfortable dissonance. Unlike other comfortable harmonies such as which is reversible in one octave like this, a triton sounds like this. And when I try to reverse it, I cannot change the uncomfortable dissonance because it's irreversible and neutral. Why is it irreversible? I can show you here. 
because tritones are using the sounds exactly in the middle of one octave. That's why it is neutral and irreversible. Classical composers avoided to use tritones except for a few special cases. However, modern composers in 20th century, such as Bartok, utilized the neutrality of tritones for his etudes or practice pieces. Maybe it's boring, but not all the composers are like this. For example, Debussy used tritones in a more beautiful way. One example is a famous orchestra music, Prelude to the Afternoon of a Fall. In the beginning, he couldn't decide which way to go between two notes of one tritone. However, towards the end of this piece, he keeps a rigid but generous mind to control all the harmonies softly and beautifully, like in a daydream. So death is neutral and reversible. Then, life is what? Anything not neutral, such as acid or alkaline solutions. Now let me explain different pH values of sounds by using Ravel's music. He mixed different solutions of sound with different pH values to express an active but invisible movement of water. Here I show one example to compare acid and alkaline solutions. The first one is acid solution with pH 5. The second was an alkaline solution with pH 9. Now I will summarize his beautiful music of water.
Okay, so in the last few slides, uh, let me talk about some scientific views on cell life and cell death. Every day in our bodies, tons of millions of cells are dying to keep ourselves healthy, keep us alive. If those cells are not properly dying, we may have too many cells in the blood. That is the status of leukemia, a disease. On the other hand, if too many cells are dying, and if we have too few cells in the blood, we may suffer from anemia. That's also a disease. To be healthy, it is important for us to control the fate of cell survival and cell death properly. And we have a mechanism. One important mechanism is called as apoptosis. Apoptosis is programmed in every blood cell of yours, and also some other cells in some more many organs of yours. Apoptosis is induced by cell stress and executed by particular enzymes. A stress sensor of a cell is mitochondria here, which also has an important role in metabolism. When there is no nutrition or when there is too much nutrition, like too much sugar, both of which are stressful for a cell, then mitochondria decides to activate the enzyme caspase, which will make DNA into small, small fragments and causing cell death in the end. This is the mechanism of apoptosis. To control apoptosis for each cell, there is an interesting event happening inside a cell. Dancing of molecules. A lot of molecules made of protein are dancing and changing patterns on the surface of mitochondria or in other places of a cell. Those proteins are called as BCL2 family proteins. The first protein of this family was found in B cell lymphoma. That's why it's BCL, B cell lymphoma. So including this first BCL2 protein, some BCL2 proteins are against apoptosis, while the others want to proceed apoptosis, cell death. So it is important to make balance of all these BCL2 proteins here and there to decide the cell fate towards cell survival or to cell death. This is how they dance. In normal cells, apoptosis is tightly well regulated by allocating appropriate dancing patterns for BCL2 proteins. However, in malignant cells such as cancers or leukemia, lymphoma, there are too many BCL2 proteins favoring survival or too few proteins dancing towards cell death. So one effective drug target against cancer is to inhibit or to decrease BCL2 proteins dancing for survival, or to increase BCL2 proteins favoring cell death apoptosis. There are already a few to treat with certain types of cancer or leukemia. In the future, we may be able to develop some more different drugs targeting BCL2 proteins for treat or to prevent us from other cancers or other diseases. So now today's scientific part is over. Now let's finish with music. Music is the only art that can lead to death by Heinz Holliger, a famous Swiss oboist and composer. 
This phrase was taken from his interview when he turned to 80 years old in this year, but he is still alive and active in music. So now we need music leading BCL2 proteins toward death. What kind of music is the best? I thought about dancing music, dance of death, totem dance. This picture is showing totem dance. The fresco picture here can be found in the Museum of History in Basel or at the church in front of the university hospital here. In this picture, there are a lot of people from king, priest, young women, Kaufman to poor person. Everyone is invited by a skeleton, a symbol of death to this dance of death, totem dance, or dance macabre. 